Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. When I first saw Stephen Tyler's name come up for a sexual assault case, I felt that maybe it was when he was in his 60s, maybe 70s, because, you know, he, you know, older guys try to try a thing, you know, they, they try a thing. I could not even believe that he was in his mid-20s and the young lady was 16. In most of the world, that would have been quite normal. 16-year-olds having sex in the third world countries is actually legal. It's a sin. That is a, a mortal sin, but it is the way it is. In certain parts of the United States, in most parts of the United States, 18 18 is the legal age of sexual consent and you have to be 21 to have the um, authority to walk into a bar and order a drink. So there are certain things about the United States that I really like. But anyhow, this young lady brought the case against Stephen Tyler. She did not get over it. She could not get over it. Over 50, 50 years of holding this and now it is before the courts and it has been happening you're only limited by your imagination okay anything you want to see happen can happen even statutes of limitations they they have to look at those kind of things and redress them it has to be looked at because there are a lot of things that statutes of limitations will stop a lawsuit you cannot bring it but that has to be rolled back they're going to have to look at those kind of things where an injustice stood and it has to be rolled back because justice is important to some people that live on the earth some you know in barbados they will say oh get over it oh forget about it oh keep your mouth shut and you know whatever mind your own business you can always tell someone who has abused because those are the words they use anyone who have asserted their authority over you or their age over you and did something to you that was not quite nice it didn't feel right it was not good it was not right illegal in all ways they are the ones that would tell you, get over it, forget about it, don't talk about it, keep your mouth shut, mind your own business. You can always tell an abuser by the words that they speak, okay? I'm telling everyone to speak out. Everyone speak out. Tell of anyone who's ever touched you in the wrong way. Tell of everything that has happened to you that you didn't like and because you were too young, you were taken advantage of. Speak out, speak up, speak out. So that is what is happening now. In the United States, as I said, Weinstein, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, those were old cases that came back up to haunt them. So I congratulate all these women who did not keep their mouths shut, who did not forget about it, who did not just like move on. And say, well, you have to move on with your life, but that doesn't mean you're going to forget about it. So she brought it up after about 50 years. She brought it back up and he is before the course and we have to wait and see what happens. But I think it's a very good thing, especially, especially when it comes to sexual abuse. It's Sheriff Veronica.